Okay, uh, now we're going to talk about Days of Sales Outstanding. Uh, days of Sales Outstanding, or DSO, as you see it abbreviated here, is an efficiency ratio. And the formula for it is the ending accounts receivable divided by average daily revenue, or revenue divided by 360 in the denominator. Uh, sometimes uh, we see DSO uh, called average collection period or receivable days, and these all mean the same thing. What we're measuring here is the average amount of time it takes a company to collect from its customers. In general, the shorter time to collect is better. So let's take a look at an example using Hasbro. Uh, we're going to need both the income statement and balance sheet for Hasbro. And we can see that accounts receivable, um, the ending accounts receivable in the period is $1.188 billion. And the revenue uh, for the same period was $4.579 billion. So we have the two uh, items that we need and we can plug them into our formula here. Um, so uh, ending accounts receivable is our numerator. The denominator is 4.5 billion of revenue divided by 360 days. That gets us the numerator of uh, $12.7 million per day. So we take $1.188 billion divided by 12.7 million dollars per day and we get a DSO or a day's sales outstanding of 93.4 days. So this means that when Hasbro sells Monopoly board games, for example, to Walmart and Amazon, it takes them on average 93 days to collect payment for those goods. In general, lower is considered better and more efficient, uh, but this metric depends a great deal on the industry, and it's usually within a few days of the customary vendor terms of the industry. And if it's outside of the customary vendor terms, uh, it could indicate a problem. So we'll compare Hasbro now to its peers in the same line of business. It's in the chart on the left-hand side. And we can see that Hasbro's 93 days is actually the longest in the industry. It takes Hasbro longer to collect from its customers than anyone else in the industry. And keep in mind that Lego, Spin Master, and Mattel all sell to effectively the same customers. Their primary customers are Walmart, Target, um, and Amazon in the United States. So uh, we'd want to know why uh, it's taking them so long to collect this. Um, so, uh, and when we use horizontal analysis to compare the DSO to uh, the, for Hasbro to prior years, we can see that Hasbro has traditionally been um, longer, uh, over 90 days, at uh, 94.7 and 97, and now 93.4. So this is actually their best DSO in the last three years, and uh, still significantly longer um, than the rest of the companies in the industry. So if Hasbro can get its collections under control, it would significantly improve cash flow. We should also keep in mind that an extraordinarily low DSO could be a problem on the other side in that it might indicate the company is following a credit policy that's too tight um, and it's losing sales as a result.